What's up guys, Chase fan number 9 here and I'm coming at you with another diecast review. This time we're going to be taking a look at a special diecast, one that I've had for like now 7 years. And I gotta tell you, this one is a gem of a paint scheme right here. This is Kyle Larson 2013 number 51 Target Chevrolet. This was when the 51 was still with, um, at the time, Phoenix Racing with um, James Finch. And I gotta tell you, wow. Yeah, for those that don't remember, Kyle Larson made his first four cup starts with um, Phoenix Racing, this 51 car, before he went to cup, before he went full time in 2014. And those first, first four races were actually decent. I mean, I know he got DNF in his first two starts, Charlotte and Martinsville, but, but I got to tell you, it, it was good regardless. Um, He ran this paint scheme in three of his first four cup starts. Um, He ran this car at Charlotte, his first, the Martinsville fall race, the Texas fall race the following week, and then he ran at Miami where he not only ran this paint scheme, but also led the very first lap of his cup career. And yeah, I was so glad I found this car. I actually got this actually, I remember I got this actually in 2014, a few months, a couple months into 2014. And it wasn't long before I got die cast from 2014, but I'll do those eventually. But anyways, yeah. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the review, shall we? So, for those who saw my review on David Reagan's Peanut Patch Ford, you know how they showed a picture of the car? Um, They didn't have a car number for the that one, where they showed, like, the 34 here. Um, Well, for this one, I guess, since this was Kyle Larson's first four stars, I guess they decided to put the number 51 on the side here. Here at the... And I gotta tell you, that is one cool number font. I'm a little sad that this team no longer exists, but hey, it was a good team regardless. And Kyle Larson was one of two drivers to make their cup debut in 2013, the other being Justin Allgaier. But fortunately, I don't have any of Allgaier's cars from his time in cup, so yeah. By the way, I do hope Allgaier gets a good cup ride for next season if he does well, if he does want to do cup, but anyways, we'll see what happens. But anyways, let's take a look at the box a little bit. So I show you the 51. Here it says Phoenix Racing, and on the bottom it says Kyle Larson. Here's what it says on the front here. Back, nothing much. Put the thing here. Anyways, let's take a look at the car. So as you can see, it's a Chevrolet SS from 2013. Um, on the front here, um, you got um, Larson's name here on the top windshield. We got the Target logo here on the front. You got the number 51 here on the side. You got Chevrolet SS, the bow tie, and Phoenix Racing there as a small sticker. On the side here, I just want to say something. I do like how um, the windows on the sides of the car, I like how they're outlined red. That looks really, really cool. I got to tell you. If I had made my channel back then and I had done paint scheme previews, this is something I would make note. And I do also like how the red wraps around the wheels here on the side that looks pretty cool and besides it matches the car and, and, and go it makes the car stand out more am i right because i tell you man i've seen other cars do the same thing which ones i'm not sure but they've been there and i know you guys probably noticed it as well but anyways yeah here is the side um you got the contingency sponsors there along with the Sprint Cup logo there. Very small writing. You got Jegs, Lincoln Welder, Dur Duralast battery, Autometer, 3M, Mobile One, Holly F E F I, Goodyear. You got Kyle Larson's name there on the top. You got number 51 there. You got some other sponsors there like McDonald's and 
I don't know what those are. And then, you know, here on the bottom, we got Degree, Cottonell, Clorox, Energizer, Microsoft, Target, and Brand here on the site. So, just like Algar, Larson also had sponsorship from Brands as well. Anyways, um, we got 51 here on the top as well, along with some Target logos there. We got Brandt Co. here on the back. And it sit, doesn't say Brandt, it says Grow with Brandt Co. Dot Co. Or some. We got some Target logos there. We got Target there on the back as well. And. He was a rookie, so as you can see, it's got the rookie stripes as usual. You got the 51 there on the back, and it's very tiny there. And it says SS as well. And guys, that will do it for this diecast review. So guys, if you're ever going to find this car, the only place I can think of is Plan B Sales, because I know they still sell this car still, and I know they have some left in their shop. But anyways, that will do it for this diecast review. I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Chase Fan Number Nine here. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell down below to get notifications for all my videos, and make sure to smash that like button. And with that, I'll see you guys on my next video. And until then, have a good one. Bye, everyone.